All right, now that we've finished the red part, we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on the yellow part, which is two tall on the left, three across, and then one coming forward towards us. So we go back to Fusion. We'll close the red part, which is already saved. That's going to launch a new untitled version. I'm going to double check that, in fact, I am in units of inch. To begin my sketch this time, I'm going to try a different method. Click on the origin. Let's look to see for my XY plane. I'm going to right click there and click Create Sketch. That kicks that off. I'm going to go to my line tool, select the origin, move up. 1.5, move to the right and go 0.75, enter, then click. Um, and basically, if I click each of these values, so 0.75, and then instead of hitting enter, click again, then it remains in the line tool. Um, in this case, I'm going to move to the right 1.5. Then I'll click. Then I'll move down till I get to the X plane. It says 0.75 on the right. I'll click there and then back to the home position at the origin for a total distance of 2.25. Click. Then I can either go to finish sketch at the top or I can click finish sketch here. Then I'm going to hit E to extrude, grab the arrow, start to move it, type 0.75, and enter. You notice that that did not actually apply that distance. So what I'm actually going to want to do is adjust that feature so I can go back to this extrude in the history, double click on that. That reopens it. You'll notice it was just at 0.4. Now I'm going to change it to point. 7, 5, and then hit enter. Now that looks correct. I'm going to right click on this face, go to create new sketch again. Then on the right hand side, I'll pick a square or right two point rectangle, click in the lower right hand corner, move up and to the left. I can hit tab on the keyboard that switches my dimension and it's 0.75, then hit enter, then click finish sketch, extrude again with the letter E, click on the square, pull the box back, 0.75, hit enter, then the last step, go to modify, pick appearance, then select my yellow powder coat, download to get the powder coat yellow. Now that arrow is gone. Drag the little oval up to my object. And now I will click save to say yellow part. And that is that.